Some of the hardest things about doing yoga or starting your practice is starting, right? It's just coming and being on your mat and making that space in time to give yourself that yoga practice. So you made it, here you are. Let's begin by deepening the breath. Taking a deep inhale, letting your arms float above your head. You can think about drawing earth energy in. On the exhale, drop your hands, slowly releasing anything from your day that doesn't serve you anymore. Inhaling the arms up. Being strong through the legs. A gentle back bend at the top and exhale. Thinking about setting an intention for your practice. Maybe it's no judgment of self. No comparison. Maybe it's just being present in the moment. Or just wanting to enjoy. Last inhale. Big, deep, full. Pausing at the top. Gently stretching up higher, gentle back bend at the top, looking up, feeling an opening through your back body, and exhaling the arms down. Thinking about releasing anything else that doesn't serve you, letting that go. We're going to start do some gentle shoulder rolls. We want to prepare the body for relaxation. So we're undoing everything that we did throughout the day. So most people are always bending forward, whether it's to look at your screen, your iPhone, your computer, whatever it is, we tend to be forward all the time. So we want to do the opposite, to stretch out those small muscles. So keep doing gentle shoulder rolls backwards. Remembering to breathe. You want to keep that deep breath going through your body, getting fresh oxygen. That's what gives you energy, and that prana and that life flowing through you. Inhale the right arm up. You can gently look at it if it feels good in your neck. Long, solid throughout the body. Legs engaged, abs pulled gently in towards the back. And if it feels good for you, you can start to hinge at the right side. Left arm tracing down your left side body, feeling a huge stretch in that left side body. But always remember to stretch to the point where you feel it, but not to the point of pain. On the next inhale, come back up. Letting the arms slowly drop to the side with intention. Moving directly into the left, inhaling the left arm up, looking up at it, releasing any tension that you're holding anywhere in the body. like you're sliding down in between two pains. Body straight, only hinging at the hip. Next inhale, come back up. And let that go. One more shoulder roll, reset the body. 
We're gonna open our back body and our shoulders now. So inhale up. And on the exhale, twisting the right arm underneath the left arm. You can stop here if this is enough of a stretch or wrap all the way around, deepening the stretch in your shoulders. So huge stretch in the shoulders, the back of the neck, even down the back body. You can stay here if this feels best for you or bend at the knees, sitting backward like you're about to sit in a chair. So gentle back bend, really, really feeling that stretch. Remembering to breathe. This is the opposite of everything that you've done throughout your day. You're untwisting, you're undoing any of the stress, any of the tension. You're letting all that go. On your next inhale, slowly come out of it like you went in. Inhaling the arms up to reset over the head. Exhale, come down and go right into the other side. So left arm underneath this time. You can stop here, depending on how tight your shoulders are, or continue to twist around, feeling the rest of that opening. Don't push beyond your body. Whatever feels good for you. That might change day to day, month to month. You push to your own edge, not anybody else's. Remembering to breathe and enjoy that huge opening in your shoulders. On your next inhale, come out just the way that you came back in. Inhaling the arms above the head this time arms all the way down and we're gonna slowly gently pulling the abs in towards the spine to protect the low back. Come into a forward fold. Dropping the neck down, the head down, letting any tension go. You can shake your head a little bit, yes and no, side to side. Bend your knees. Really feeling a stretch through the back of your legs and your back, down the whole back side of your body. And coming down into a seated position. From here, we're gonna come into tabletop. So that's on all fours. Inhaling, letting the belly go, letting the belly drop to the floor and looking up. Exhale, drawing the belly in towards the spine. Looking down, stretching out your back, your neck. Inhale, letting the belly go and looking up towards the sky. Exhales. And now just circle your body. Do what feels good for you. They're movements that you never normally do during your day. So it's gonna feel so good. We're gonna do another twist. So inhale your right arm up looking at it and then gently thread it underneath you, feeling a huge stretch and opening in your right shoulder and a twist down your spine. Remembering to breathe, breathing through the compression in your torso. You can either stay here or on your next inhale, lift your left hand up off the mat Rotate your thumb down towards the mat and twist it around your body, your right hip. 
feeling a tremendous opening in your shoulders, increasing the twist, remembering to breathe, letting go of any tension that you feel in your body. When you're ready and on your next inhale, begin to come out the way that you came in untwisting your left hand, putting it back on the mat, pushing up, taking your right hand towards the sky, looking up at it and bringing it back down. Other side, left hand comes up off the mat, looking at your left fingertips and then thread the needle. So thread your arm underneath you, relax everything down into the mat, feeling the twist in your body. You can either stay here or lift your right hand up on the next inhale, twist your thumb down towards the mat and take your right hand and wrap it around your left hip, feeling a huge twisting opening in the body. Really enjoy that. Feeling that opening in your shoulders, remembering to breathe. Let's come out just the way that we came in, untwisting our right hand, placing it back down on the mat, gently pushing up, taking your left hand towards the sky, looking up at it, and placing it back down on the mat. Good, let's push up into a downward dog. Really walk that out, do what feels good for you, but stretching your calves, bending the knees, Making sure to keep your ears between your elbows to not put any strain or tension on your neck. And now we'll come forward and come down onto the mat. Belly down onto the mat. Fingertips right in line with your shoulders. We're gonna do a gentle back bend. So zip up that tail, so feet together, thighs together, strength through your lower half, squeezing your glutes. You don't want to be pushing up with your hands, but more using the strength in your back. So you may come up to here, you may come up a bit farther, just don't push beyond your limits. Remembering to breathe. It's a really good massage for your internal organs, your stomach, your intestines, getting some fresh movement in there. Coming up a little more if it feels good for you. And releasing back down onto the mat. Push up one more time. and come back down. Coming back, pushing into tabletop. Again, we're going to come into pigeon. So bringing the right leg forward, depending on how your hips are feeling today. It might be here, it might be here. As long as you're flexing your foot to protect your knee, you're gonna be however it feels for you and your body today. So we're working on stretching our psoas muscle. It takes a full minute for your psoas muscle to come out of spasm when you begin to stretch it. So beginning to feel that opening in your hip. You might be able to come down onto your forearms or just stay where you are. During this posture, we can tend to begin to hold tension in our neck. So making sure you have no tension in your neck, continuing to breathe, breathing deeply into the places that are tight. 
So bringing that breath down into the hip socket, into the psoas muscle, into your glutes. Only about 10 more seconds, so make these 10 seconds count. Helping with any sitting that you've done through the day. Good. And your next inhale, start to come back out of that slowly and gently. It's a really, really big stretch. So come out of it, do whatever feels good. Move your legs around, get the blood flowing back in them. And when you're ready, come into it on the other side. So bring in the left knee up, making sure the left foot is flexed. Maybe you'll stay upright like this. Or maybe I'll come down a little farther. You can come down onto your forearms or forehead all the way down onto the mat, whatever feels good in your body. Just remembering to keep the foot flexed. Letting go of the tension in your neck, your shoulders. Deepening the breath. This posture can tend to bring up a lot of emotions. We hold a lot of memories and a lot of tension and stressful thoughts in our hips, so letting any of that go. If anything comes up, just let it get carried away with your breath. About 10 more seconds. Good. On your next inhale, tuck your toes. Gently bring your left leg up. Shake out your legs. Get some blood flowing back in your body. Feel the difference in how your legs and your hips feel from before, before you started. Good. We're gonna come down now onto our backs. Letting your back just melt into the floor. So vertebrae and vertebrae, slowly and gently coming down to the floor. You should feel your back just going, ah, opening up, feeling supported by the earth. We'll take both our legs down and then bring our right knee up, squeezing it tight into the body. And then letting it twist over to the left side. So a nice gentle passive stretch through your glutes, through your side body. If you want to add another level, you can take your right hand out and gently gaze into your right hand. Keeping your right shoulder down into the mat, letting everything go. Remembering to breathe. On your next inhale, coming out the way that you came in. Bringing your right leg down to the mat, and lifting your left leg up, squeezing your knee into your chest. Squeezing, using your biceps, and exhaling it over to the right side. You can take the left hand, stretch it out, left shoulder on the floor, feeling that twist in your body. So good for your digestion. Letting your head relax to the left.
Now coming back to center. Squeeze up into a ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Think about tightening every muscle in your body and then letting it all go. Shavasana. Maintain laying on the floor. Keep your body laid out flat, relaxing every muscle. We'll spend about a minute here just to let everything absorb into you that you did. So you opened up your neck, your chest, your back, your hips, your shoulders. So letting your neck relax, your eyes can stay closed, your chest relax, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, ankles, your feet that work so hard to hold you up all day. Letting the breath just flow through you slowly and gently like the ocean waves washing over you, letting any other stress or tension just get washed away by that deep ocean-like breathing. You should be so proud of yourself. You did something really, really good for you. So either stay in Shavasana or come back out. It's up to you. It's been my honor and my privilege to lead you through these 15 minutes of yoga. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.